I have built a uh, simple HF up converter for the RTL SDR receivers. Basically, it consists of a P1100 60 megahertz oscillator module and a NE612 mixer and a few capacitors for coupling and bypass. Basically, the uh, incoming signal from the antenna is mixed with a 60 megahertz signal and of course the uh, the output is the two original signals and the sum and the difference and what we're interested in is the sum and that means that any incoming signal will be shifted up 60 megahertz 1 megahertz becomes 61 megahertz 5 megahertz becomes 65 megahertz 10 megahertz becomes 70 megahertz and so on It is powered by my uh, trusty Hewlett Packard 6218 power supply. And right now this is just a temporary setup on the breadboard with this supply. I plan to build a circuit similar to this on a uh, copper clad board after I uh, tweak the design some more. So, uh, basically any 5 volt power supply should work. I also have here an uh, Amico PT2 tuned preamplifier. And it's not required, but it helps the sensitivity and the selectivity because the uh, RTL SDRs have no filtering at all and neither does the up converter so a strong signal even out of band may uh, may cause problems on the received signal so this helps uh, dampen that problem luckily even without it I I haven't had too many problems with strong signals so uh, it seems to be faring pretty well okay I am going to uh, uh, start the uh, software. Right now I am using HD SDR which is one of the many choices available for the RTL SDR. Uh, SDR Sharp, HD SDR, and uh, SDR Console are the three main ones that work with it. And uh, you know they have uh, different uh, different amount of features and different uh, different learning curves. SDR Sharp is the easiest, but uh, HD SDR has a lot more features, such as notch filter and uh, just uh, general better noise reduction. And uh, SDR Console has a whole bunch of uh, other goodies, but uh, that uh, takes a little bit more to get up and running. So uh, for now we'll stick with HD SDR and uh, I'm going to put it on uh, approximately 3975 kilohertz. Now the uh, frequency could be a little bit off because the uh, the crystal inside the uh, SDR is not cri temperature compensated and neither is the one in the up converter so it it drifts a few hundred hertz uh, as it warms up now the uh, up converter is currently not powered so it is uh, currently actually receiving 63.975 megahertz. So, flip this switch and uh, 
HX springs to life. You can see it's growing about 20 milliamps. Switch to lower side band. I'm going to turn on the preamplifier. And uh, peak the signal. Silver Lake. Silver Lake, K7HRW, Highland in the net. As you can see, some of the stronger signals are overloading, so what we will do is turn down the RF gain control, which will uh, clear up the uh, distortion on the stronger signals with only uh, 48 bits of dynamic range to work with. It's quite easy for uh, distortion to occur on uh, the strong signals. Okay, let's go up to uh, 10 megahertz and uh, see if we can receive WWV. I turn the RF gain back up. And go to AM mode. Now I'm going to uh, change the uh, the range on the preamplifier. And peak it again. Universal time. This is with the preamp off. And back on. You can hear an over the horizon radar signal on uh, on top of the uh, WWV signal. At the tone, run error. 15 minutes. Coordinated universal time. So, I will keep tweaking this design to try to improve the performance, and I ho hope to get some uh, schematics uh, up uh, eventually. So, anyway, uh, thank you for watching.